Today I have a cast iron boat exhaust manifold that has a crack in it approximately from here all the way over to here. So the first thing I'm going to do is put a little heat on it and see if I can find where the two ends of the crack are and then drill a hole on each end to run my weld bead into. After I verify that, get it cleaned up a little bit and V out this crack so that I can get a little bit of penetration into the material. Then I will do a preheat, weld it with 7018 welding rod, and then a post heat, and then I will wrap it in fiberglass insulation. Right there is where the crack starts. Now in welding cast iron, no matter what rod you use, you want to have the piece be in a flat position. Realize I will do the preheat. As soon as the preheat is completed, I will automatically go into welding this piece. I will weld it completely out as soon as what I can with no delay. So I want to have everything set out, welding rods, everything set so it's ready to go. As soon as the welding is done, I will go on with a post heat to relieve the stress. Then it will immediately go into fiberglass insulation and stay there for several, if not six, eight hours. So I cannot stress enough that you need to have everything set, prepared, and ready to go on this. If you leave it cool between welding sections, you will hear it snap and crack. That's re-cracking somewhere else possibly in the heat affected zone or outside of that wherever the cast is the weakest.
There it is in the fiberglass insulation. Wrap up good and tight. I did not hear any cracking during the welding process. So everything should be good provided it doesn't cool too fast and crack in the cooling process in the fiberglass. So it's been cooling now for about four hours. I had a little bit of undercut there. But that'll be okay for what we're working with here and what we're using and doing. It's not the prettiest, but when you're in a rush to get it welded up and get it back in the uh, fiberglass before it cools down, sometimes it isn't quite as pretty and no uh, cast iron weld ever, ever looks that pretty. But it's done and it looks like it should be okay.